Hi, it's Phoenix Genesis. I uh, wanted to show you, this is my almost seven years super flat creative world. And again, I work out designs here so I can implement them again in one of my two survival worlds. So here is a little uh, barn and nether portal with matching a uh, portal in the nether. And anytime you would have a village and survival, I mean, a lot of people want to um, live in the village, which could be a bad idea if you trigger a raid or, um, you know, this attack of zombies on hard mode and they break down your wooden doors and kill your villagers so I like to be a little far away so I'm not triggering anything it's kind of away from the village and I, I don't really I don't need a house house per se the I think the first thing to build would be like this little kind of portal survival barn house which has you know all your crops so that way you're good to trade that way you don't have to wait for the stupid villagers to plant the crops they're so slow you just get your uh, pumpkins melons uh, weed everything you need um, you know berries anything you need to trade and then get right to it and go over there and uh, also you can have horses and things to ride we'll go in there and discuss that but as far as design um you know try to not have too many competing textures so adding this red smooth sandstone here and adding the um you know the stripped oak right here just kind of like smooths out the textures a little so we don't have too many clashing textures and again the colors here of the sandstone pick up the uh the little um stud caps of the uh and the acacia wood which is the same color so it really adds a nice kind of um blend and then the white uh tulips add kind of the white trim of the clear glass and the orange kind of pick up the orange here so um I think that's really uh, nice. And again, you know, trap doors here is to kind of cover that up so it's not so ugly looking. And anyway, if we go inside here. And then uh, here also a little sandstone here kind of picks up again with the um, wood of the floor. So this would be more solid where it's not going to rot from, say, rain. And then you come in here and it kind of continues the same color as you can see. Almost the same color with the wood. Uh, very simple design. Just I like to be able to see down into the animals in the barn. And it looks like some natural ventilation because of also we're using the um, fencing for the uh, upstairs windows. And then this lattice just it just gives a nice airflow for the uh, animals. Mm. I try to be realistic. I would add some also some food and water areas in here, which I do now. Um, but this was a while ago when I built this. Let's go upstairs again. Um, sometimes you can do, uh, you know, stairs. But in a build like this, a ladder suffices. Um, you know, again, it d just depends on the design of the build. And I tried to just stay. I want to make it a little colorful. So I added some pink. I kept with the white and orange, which picks up the uh, colors of the tulips. And just added that little extra pink to make it a little more, I don't know, colorful and maybe gender neutral. And wow, June 11, 2019, almost like two and a half years ago I built this so um, yeah I'm gonna uh, as soon as everything becomes more stable on bedrock I will go to bedrock but um, right now I'm still gonna wait I don't want to lose this world after almost seven years of building and here we have um, I always try to line the building to see get a sunrise we're getting a nice sunset right here I just think it's nice you don't need a clock you can use the sky as a clock just like our ancestors did Anyway, we're going to go down and look at our matching nether portal now. And again, I try to display gems even in survival. This is creative, but I would, um, if I had enough of any gem I, I just kind of like to you know adds a little color to the bill a little contrast to the maroon you know the kind of cyan color um i think this glass just makes the uh, glowstone look a little more finished and uh here just make it a little dangerous with some lava you know why not and lava is a natural light source might as well use it and yeah a little um also having some nether ward at the re ready for some brewing so i have a brewing stand in the building i can just pop down grab that from a safe and secure location and be able to uh, brew 
but yeah, you always want um, your nether portals protected because especially if you're in a survival world where you're not <laughs> in creative and you're in non-peaceful, uh, the gas will blow up uh, and you'll be stranded in the nether forever unless you die, which you don't want to do if you have a lot of good loot and armor and XP on you. You don't want to die. And then made a little zombie horse uh, stable next to here in case I want to ride. Again, nice thing about... <laughs> The flat, now the rest of the super flat is not flat nether, but the, the original is. And again, I didn't, all I did was put torches here and I can just uh, follow the torches from portal to portal. A lot of those portals aren't covered up yet. Again, it's just fast transport for this world. I built a huge infrastructure you'll see in my uh, other sur survival world for the nether because that is a survival world. Hi, horsey. So there's my little horse. We're going to commiserate right now and talk to each other. Oops, oops, oops. I'm like all discombobled. Oop, hi. So um, I hope everybody had a nice uh, Hanukkah. I know I did, and I'm looking forward to Christmas, and I hope you are too. So Phoenix Genesis, uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.